Good morning folks welcome back to my channel in the previous video you have already seen the various components that's there attached with the electrical system of our scooter in today's video we are going to take out the entire system so that we could uh, place them back on our scooter at a later point of time before we go ahead with that we have to test each and every wiring uh, component for their continuity as well as the components for their usability these includes the CDI unit as well as the RR unit which I have tested already along with the starter kit which functions perfectly alright. Next to that we just had to take out the entire cable and for that what I did was like I dislodged all the sockets from the front end I had to be very careful cause should I be applying more force, force than required it would have snapped off and then it would have been very difficult to put them together so that's one thing that I have to really pay attention to next to that you have just to you know mark all the sockets which you have uh, dislodged so that you don't really uh, have to be worried at a later point of time for where what goes so that's one thing that you must keep in mind at this point of time once that's done it's pretty easy you have to wiggle the cable from the front end and it would be easily coming out from the place where the petrol tank goes so uh, it's something like you have to you know uh, push and pull from uh, the tunnel area and uh, it's not really that difficult as it might sound or it may seem but you have to make your assumptions in that area and it will be coming out easily once uh, you are done with that what I had done was like uh, you can maybe you can skip it cause you have already checked it but what I did was like I simply rechecked all the components as well as the cables so that there won't be really any difficulty at a later, of, later point of time cause in my case there was some sort of you know water lodging in the tunnel so that was the thing that I had done on priority next to it what I'm going to do is like I'll be getting the base plate of the top part of the Vespa painted along with the uh, what you can call that glove box painted and once that's done we'll be installing the entire cable harness and the starter motor on our scooter so stay tuned for more till the next time build it ride it